Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Mr. Sonic Menu and welcome back to Late Shift. Last episode, things got really, really out of hand. So, let's see what happens to our friend Matt here, shall we? Let's resume. Okay, here we go. Oh, so right from here, huh? Okay, I guess I'm gonna fast forward to the part where we left off at from the tunnel. Okay, this is where we left off last episode. Dang, he does not look good. I mean, I want to be good either. Blimey, that guy Lily choked me. I mean, he kind of was choking you. <laughs> Shit. The auction guy Jeffrey nearly strangled. He had access to the bowl after the expert on stage had it. Right before we stole it. Right. How do I find him? He could have been the one that switched the balls. He could have been working with him the whole time. Same Sebastian. I'm really sorry to call this late, but, um, it's Sebastian at home. Uh, who's speaking, please? It, it, it's, um, it, it's Dan from work. Dan? I, I heard he was in an accident. Is he alright? Is he at home? No, no, he's not well. He's been taken to the hospital. Okay, so he didn't die. It's horrible. Um, Ooh. I, I'm really sorry to hear that. Where did they take him? They took him to St. Thomas's, but they won't let me visit until the morning. St. Uh -oh. Thomas's. Thank you. I'm really sorry this happened. Don't worry, Are you? Not your fault. I'm sorry though. He seems right. sincere. Let's pay this poor guy a visit. Yeah, I mean it's all because of you that he ended up getting strangled, dude. Come on. Okay, what's gonna happen this episode? I'm wondering. Any more crazy stuff gonna happen? You look shady. Hi. She looks familiar. You um, you work here. As you can see. It's a dumb question. Some party to go to. Some bet for grand. Why do you think I'm back here doing an extra shift? Yeah, well, things would have gotten way worse for you. Ah, oh, don't start. What brings you here? Um, uh, I'm here to see someone. Can you tell me what room Sebastian the Clark's in, please? So she's the girl that was that visited us, that had the bet, their boyfriend. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. It's just a room number. What? Like it was just a key? Oh, come on. Good. Dang. Good. Insist. Look, this isn't about some entry ticket to some party, yeah? This is way bigger. What's so important that you need to see? Just anything? tell her. Uh, I'm gonna explain. Is that a good idea? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I oh. believe me if you don't. Okay. Well, here we go. Do she has some significance? I was kidnapped by a gang of thieves who forced me to be part of a failed robbery which has resulted in me being pursued by a gang of homicidal triads who want something that I don't have and Mr. Clark is the only bloody person who knows where it is I can't wait till visiting hours I will be what? visiting hours please <laughs> jeez lady seventh floor Room 703, and if you get caught, I've never seen or heard of you. She gonna call the cops? Don't call the cops, lady. Don't tell me they were the one- Don't tell me they killed him. I feel like they killed him. What if they did? That'd be crazy. Hello, old man. How are you? 
He's being so weird about it. He's being so obvious. He's not supposed to be there. Oh, help the man out. Ooh, he's into dirty magazines. Okay, guy. I might have to censor that one out. They won't let me use the internet. Uh <laughs> nice, bud. Nice. That's how we got the ball at the auction house. What? Oh, he hit it? Right? So he was in on it. I mean, he shoved up his butt. Oh, he can't speak, right? Shouldn't be a nurse. No. Now you listen to me, mate. I'm a peaceful man. Okay, I do not want to hurt you. He has had a long night. Again, I swear to God, the bits of you at heart are gonna get a whole lot worse. Do you understand me? He understands. Do we have a deal? We yes. Good. Now tell me about your deal with Samuel Parr. I know you replaced the Boston Rasper with a forgery. That's a lie. Uh, physical pressure. Where's the Rasper? It's stolen. Hit him again. I was beaten up. Where is it? Where did you put the original? Ooh. I didn't put it anywhere. Um, uh, uh prove it. Ugh. Didn't make the right choice. He did, Sebastian. Paul's cabinet. The one he bought right before the ball was auctioned. The one with the secret compartment. Oh. The forgery was hidden inside before the auction, wasn't it? And then afterwards, you replaced it with the original. The okay. Only one Sebastian. The only one. Smart guy. Dad, what do you want? What do you want from me? Where's the original? Does Paul have it? If I tell you, you have to promise to tell no one about me. You're kidding, right? <laughs> if you don't promise, I tell you nothing. I don't have time. Cross your fingers, man. Look, it's just you and me here, right? Now, where's the fucking rice bowl? This is the last time I'm going to ask you nicely. <laughs> Look on his face. I swapped it. I swapped it in the elevator. The original with the forgery, and I hid it. The cabinet. Paul's cabinet had built an auction. There was a secret compartment in it, right? Yes. Is that where it is? Is the ball still inside? I don't know. This is the truth. The security took everything to the safe storage after the robbery, and they brought me here to the hospital. Safe storage. So Where's that? Yes. Oh, painkiller, thank Christ. Oh, he needs that, doesn't he? Because he's in some serious pain. Will this get me into the vault? Yes, if you can get to it, yes. This may be the end of this game. This episode may be the end of the game. You never heard about the hidden compartment. Get one soon. Yeah, yeah. Come now. Connor? Is that a name? Or like some kind of name that he just called him out of spite? I don't know. Here's some weird taxis. Dang. Weirder than the ones they have over here. Well, actually, the ones over here are pretty normal. Oh, it's not nighttime anymore. Uh oh. Okay, they weren't after him. That's a relief. The soundtrack of this game is amazing. Digging it. 
it matches the whole tone of the game too. This is a nice area. Dang, dude. Wait, did he live here? I don't know. He probably lived like more of an urban area. Okay, it's the auction house. Uh, 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 talk to the receptionist. These choices can't deal. Sorry, sir, I'll be with you in a moment. No rush. <laughs> Long flight. How can I help you? Um, uh, pick up Kapar's items. I need to pick up an item. What lot was it? Uh, it was an item bought last night by Mr. Samuel Parr. No. No, it's not on my list. Do you have your documentation? Uh, uh, yes. You're telling me you don't? I don't seem to. Oh, God. I could get the documentation halfway across the world to me, but couldn't get them downstairs to you. Oh, for goodness sake. Let me take another look. He's a smart guy. Make it seem like it's her fault. Oh, here we are. I do apologize. Oh, it's scheduled for dispatch, not collection. Oh, this is intolerable. Perhaps you should talk to Mr. Quinn about it. Yeah, Who? Yes, I would very much like to speak to Mr. Quinn about this. First floor? Second. Room 13? Correct. Great. Nice lady, though. Like how they call it a lift, not an elevator. Nice. The Brits. Gotta love them. Uh, 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 sweat card. Ooh. Uh, uh, go up. Did I make the right choice? Oh, jeez. Okay, where's Mr. Queen? Okay, this is where things get are gonna get really interesting. I have a feeling. Looking like I have a beard. Shave this morning. Ooh. Oh, there's the ball. What the hell You're screwed, you man. Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. I'm Mr. Quinn, right? Wait here. Uh... Leave! Huh, I'm not sure if I made the right choice. Uh, uh stairwell. What's gonna happen now? Because we don't want to get stuck in the elevator and have them waiting for us on the next floor. So... Oh! We, we're leaving the facility? What a terrible idea. I should have gone straight to pause in the first place. Primrose Hill. Wait, Parlor's in Primrose Hill? Right? Is where you were at the beginning of the game? Or was it the guy selling the stuff? I don't know. So, we made a right choice to leave. See the old man? Good morning. An appointment with Samuel Parr? Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Ooh. Wait here. She Mr. looks Parr. scared. Mr. Parr, this man says oh, that he thank has you. Well, uh, I'll take my tea in the study today. Uh, so he is the old man. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. 
The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know that Mailing forged a copy for you. And you organised the robbery. And you have proof... You was the one. ...this outrageous slander. I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. This guy's pissing me off. And I know about your deal with Sebastian the Clark. Yeah, smuggling the original out of the auction house, hidden inside the wooden chest you bought. This is quite the little work of fiction, isn't it? What do you hope to gain by this? Nothing? Come on. Punch him, Matt. Or not. Are we going to discuss this sensibly or not? I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea Ooh. how much I cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? Wait. All right. Ooh. Sensibly in my study. Yeah. Lead on. You should keep the golf club just in case. Where's the butler? Watch. Okay, whatever. And shut up now. Where's the ball? Ooh. I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. Intimidate him. What do you think the Choys have to say about all of this? <laughs> the Choys will never believe you. I am a respected member of the community, and you clearly are not. Keep intimidating. Are you willing to take that risk? Tony Wu was a respected member of the community. They had no trouble killing him, did they? I will destroy everything in here. Uh, not now, will I? That tea's gonna get cold, bro. Just take the tea. Oh, okay. okay. The bowl is here. I collected the chest last night. Show it to me. He's gonna pull out a gun or something. Stay on him, dude. Uh, let him. Did I make the right choice? He's gonna pull out a gun. See it coming. This conversation is over. I knew it. Ooh. Oh. Dang. Give me the fucking bowl. I can't give it to you. I can't. So you kill me for it. You won't be the first to die for it. There'll be many of you before. You have your fucking mind. Shoot him. Fuck you. He tried to kill- What the heck? He's still trying to go after me? He tried killing you, so it's justified, right? I feel like I made the wrong choice. Maybe I shouldn't have shot him. Do I shoot her too? Come here! Come here! Get the fucking chest! Sit down! Sit down! Put your arms down! I didn't make the right choice at all. Put your arms down! Put your arms up to that! He tried to kill me, so I was, it was self-defense. My life has got so much worse. Go fuck. Go you killed him, mate. Don't shoot yourself. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, surrender. I did it. I, I did it. Press it in time. 
the ball. You have it. Where? You're dying. But the girl can still live. Where is that ball? Oh. You must have it. Where? Uh, yes, I'm gonna say that. Fuck you. Shoot Ellis. Eventually. Duh, heck kind of ending. I thought I hit surrender. Okay, um... Maybe the game wasn't supposed to end that way for me. I could have surrendered. But, uh... Yeah... Should I... I'm not sure if I should try to try that again. But... In this episode or the next episode? Um... You know what? I'll try that again this episode. Okay, let's try this. I'll tell you for the credits to end, though, okay? Well, it's rolling. I'm gonna talk about the game. Um, this game has been great, to be honest. I like the choices, I like the intensity. But I feel like towards the end, it kind of started getting a little bit dry and kind of predictable at the same time. Um, but yeah, when I go back to the part where I left off where I, I die, I'm going to see if there's a way for me to actually live. Because I feel like there's a way we can get a better ending where we find the bull and we, um, we save the girl. I feel like we shouldn't have left the auction house. We should have just stayed there. So, I'll see what I can do and I'll see if I can get a better ending. I'll see you guys there, back at the auction house. Okay, so I'm here at the end of the credits, and apparently, um, I made 61 decisions. I unlocked one of the seven endings, and, um, I've only experienced 12 out of 14 chapters. So that means I've experienced one ending out of the six endings. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me explore the other endings it will be time consuming but i am willing to do it but um i'm going to end the episode right here i'll explore a better ending in the next episode but um yeah um thank you guys for watching if you liked it make sure you hit that like button let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the, of the ending i just experienced i thought it was pretty sucky i thought we were gonna say may save may but that didn't happen but yeah, um, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that bell icon down below to get notified of when I upload new videos. And as always, this is Mr. Sonic Menu signing off. See you guys in the next one.